Okay, great. Now we pop in the trachea. And the ridges. Is there any tenderness when I'm doing this? No. Okay. So now I'm going to be palpating around your chest and to the right knee. And please let me know if there's any tenderness or any pain with it. Okay. I am not feeling any masses. I'm also not feeling any crepitus, which is similar to like bubble wrap underneath the skin surface. Okay. Your air trap gets trapped in your subcutaneous, subcutaneous layer. Okay, and there was no pain or tenderness with that. Okay, great. And so now what I'm going to be doing is assessing your chest expansion and exertion. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take a deep breath in, deep breath out. So on your back, my hands were like this. And so I was assessing your chest expansion and seeing that it was symmetric as you breathe in and out. I could see that my hands were going at the same rate and the same um, um, width. And so now I will be assessing you for tactile firmitus. And so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to place the palms of my hand on your back and continue to move them. And each time I move them, I'd like you to say 99. We'll begin. 99. 99. 99. 99. All right, great. 99. Great, thank you. <laughs> sure. No, you're great in good faith. Thank you so much. I was um, assessing, I could feel the vibrations on your back whenever you said that. So that was good. Nothing abnormal with that. So now I will be assessing the other pulse sites in your body. So first, I'll be assessing your radial pulse. So come with me. I'm going to be assessing this radial pulse. All right, great. And so I'm assessing each side of both of them to make sure that they're both symmetric with one another. I am assessing the, the, the rate of it, the rhythm of it, making sure that it's both regular and equal with one another. So now we'll do the brachial artery. And before I begin the other pole sites, I'm going to go ahead and apply my gloves. So now I'll be assessing your femoral artery. So you can get the lean back in your chair. You can keep your legs like this. I'd like you to extend it slightly. Now I'm assessing your popliteal. Okay, thank you. Now put that one back. Okay, great. So now I'm going to come on the floor. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and remove your shoes for me. So first, I'll be assessing your posterior tibial pulse. Okay, great. And go ahead and assess your virtual fetus as well. Great, thank you. Let's get this one. Okay, great, thank you. And so for those assessments of your pulse slides, I was assessing making sure that the rhythm was regular, making sure that the weight was um, strong. And it was about a plus two, which is in the normal range for creating your pulses and the strength of them. And um, they were also equal with one another when I did the bilateral comparison. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an auscultation portion where I'm using my stethoscope 
Okay, so I'm gonna auscultate your chest posteriorly, and I'd like you to go ahead and breathe through your mouth when you're doing this, okay? Okay. So I'll start posteriorly. Okay, great. And now I'm going to assess this anteriorly in front of you. Think about this if you do feel any lightheaded or if this needs to be something different. Okay, great. Instead of through this auscultation, I was trying to do differentiate between mm -hmm. sounds going to begin at your 8, 4 to 12, and so that is um, it's in your second intercostal region on your right side. So you go like that. Right here. Okay. That's your pneumonic valve, which is in the second intercostal area on your right side. The left side. Okay. Go to your herb sprint in your third and across your area. Great. Now I'm going to go to your uh, tricuspid valve area. Okay. And now I'm going to go to your mitral valve area, which is um, where your apical pulse is. So I'm going to go ahead and take your apical pulse for one full minute, okay? okay. Are you comfortable? Okay, great. Thank you. All right. So your apical pulse was about 53. And so um, that is great, and that is good for because I do know that you are an active runner and a very active person, so that is very good. And so now what I will be doing is I will be starting the percussion portion of this assessment. And so I will be going like this on your back and making sure if I can hear any resonant notes, which is what we want. and I could not um, find any fluids or masses within that. They were all resonant sounding. So that does conclude the pulmonary assessment for this. Um, I wanted to make sure that I have gathered all of my equipment. So I'm just gonna test some of the angles that appear in your joints when you flex and expand your muscles. So first thing, can you bring your right arm all the way up for me? Perfect, now hold there, don't let me, right, hold there. Now you can relax your arm. Great. Now can you bring that same arm back for me, just straight back and hold. Great. Now you can relax again. All right. Now looking at me, can you bring your arm up? 
and above your head. Perfect. Now hold there. Great. Now you can relax. All right. Now bring one arm in front of you like a zombie and out to the side. Perfect. Now hold there. Now bringing your arm forward again. Can you bring it across your body? Perfect. Now hold there. Great. You can relax. Perfect. Now can you bring your arm up for me with your elbow? Perfect. I'm going to bring it a little bit forward. And can you bring this arm up like this? Great. Now, is that as far as you can go? Yes. All right. Perfect. You can relax. Now, same thing. Bring your elbow up. Now, bring your el uh, hand up here. Now, bring your hand back down. Perfect. I'm going to bring this forward a little bit. All right, perfect. Now can you bring it back out? All right, now holding your elbow still, just try to bring your hand and forearm across your stomach. Keep your stomach, perfect. Now stop there. Great. All right. Perfect. Now keeping your hand like this, can you bring it out for me? Great. Now just hold there. Perfect. All right, the last few. Now can you touch your shoulders for me? Perfect, hold there. Excellent. Now you can relax. And now can you bring your arms all the way back down? Is that as straight as they can go? Yes. Perfect. Now you can relax. All right, now bring your arms back here. Now can you put your palm down to the ground for me? All right, that's okay. Can you bring it back up and do this? All right. Perfect. And now, can you bring your palms up? Great. All right, and you can relax. Now we're going to go on to manual muscle testing. So this first portion of muscle uh, manual muscle testing, I'll be testing your shoulder. So first, can you bring your right arm above your head? Perfect. Hold there, don't let me move you. You can relax. Now that same arm, can you bring it straight behind you? Hold, don't let me move you. Great, now you can relax. Now that right arm, bring it out and over your head for me. Perfect. Hold there. Don't let me move you. Great. You can relax. Now keep this same arm in at your side. Hold there. Don't let me move you. Perfect. Now you can relax. So can you bring your right arm across for me? Great. Now you can relax it. Now can you touch my hand? All right, now can you relax on this side? Can you touch my hand? Perfect, hold there, don't let me move you. <clears throat> All right, now hold there. Hold and don't let me move you. Perfect, you can relax. 
All right, now make your arm limp for me. Great. All right, can you touch my hand? Great, now bring it back to the other side. Can you touch my hand? Perfect. Now hold and don't let me move you. All right. And hold, don't let me move you. Perfect, you can relax. This portion of manual muscle testing will be working with the elbow and forearm. So if you'll start off, take your right arm and touch your shoulder for me. Hold there, don't let me move you. Great, you can relax. Now with your palms facing the back, can you touch your shoulder for me? Great, hold there, don't let me move you. All right. Now, with your thumbs facing out, can you touch your shoulder? Perfect. Now, can you bring it back down? Now, don't move your elbow, just move your forearm. Can you touch your shoulder? Perfect. Hold there, don't let me move you. Right. And you can relax. All right, now I'm going to bring your arm over your head. You can relax your elbow. Perfect. Now, can you straighten your arm for me? Great. Hold there, don't let me move you. All right, you can relax. Now I'm gonna test your forearms. So can you have your elbows in at your side? Great. Can you put your palm down to the ground for me? Awesome. Hold there, don't let me move you. All right. Now, can you put your palm up for me? Hold, don't let me move you. Now put your arm back down for me. Hold, don't let me move you. Now keeping your elbows in, can you pull them back? Great. Now, can you show me your palm? Hold, don't let me move you. All right, you can relax. So this portion of manual muscle testing will be gravity eliminated. Can you bring your arm above your head for me? Perfect. Now hold there, don't let me move you. Good. Now you can relax and can you flip over to the other side for me? Great. Now, can you bring this arm back for me? Perfect. Now hold there, don't let me move you. Perfect. Now you can relax, and can you lay on your back? Perfect. Now, can you bring your arm out and above your head for me? Perfect. Now hold there, don't let me move you. Good, you can relax. Now relax for me. All right, now can you bring your arm in towards your side where it just was? Perfect. Now hold, don't let me move you. Good job, you can relax. Lift your arm for you. Just stay with your posture. Perfect. Now, can you bring your arm across your chest for me? Perfect. Hold, don't let me move you. All right, you can relax. Great. Now you can relax. Can you bring your arm out for me? Great. Hold there, don't let me move you. All right, good, you can relax. Okay. Can you bring your arm in towards your tummy for me? Thank you. Hold, don't let me move you. Perfect, now can you bring this out for me? Hold, don't let me move you. Good, you can relax. All right, now relax for me. Perfect. 
Can you bring your hand towards your shoulder? Okay, full thumb underneath you. All right, you can relax. All right, just relax for me. Can you bring your hand towards your shoulder? Perfect. Full thumb underneath you. All right, you can relax. Can you bring your hand again towards your shoulder? Perfect. Full thumb underneath you. All right. You can relax. Okay. So I'm going to start here. Are you able to bring your arm out for me? Perfect. Full thumb underneath you. Great. You can relax. So can you put your elbow on the table? Good. Now show me the back of your palm. Perfect. Hold there, don't let me move you. Now can you, just one second. Can you show me the front of your palm? Good. Hold there, don't let me move you. Perfect. All right, now can you lean forward a little bit? Show me back of your hand. Now show me your palm again. Perfect. Hold there, don't let me move you. Yeah. for um, any bumps um, palpating for any nodules anything painful here okay. and looking for symmetry okay everything looks good now I'm gonna start palpating a little more okay, okay. I'm gonna palpate your lymph nodes Okay, so I'm going to do lymph nodes in front of the ear, behind the ear, okay, and I'm going to come up under your chin here, perfect, and I'm going to come under the ear. Um, cavical, there we go. I'm going to just do above your clavicle. Mm -hmm. Below your clavicle. Okay, Any? you feel any pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, feels okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and step behind you. And mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to feel, palpate your thyroid okay. gland. Okay, is that okay? Yeah. I'm going to put both my hands on either side of your... I'm going to have you go ahead and swallow for me. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, look at your eyes. Okay. So I'm going to inspect your eyes. I'm going to have you um, first um, follow my finger. Okay. okay. Let me look straight ahead. Look at my finger and try not to move your head, just your eyes. Take a look at your eyes. I'm gonna have you look straight ahead, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna inspect your eyes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull your eyelids down. What I need to see is Nice pink eyelids and nice white squares here. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I'm also gonna test here your um, pupillary constriction, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna bring this light look straight ahead for me. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We're gonna do the um, cover uncover test. So can I have you cover one eye? Okay. okay, and I'm gonna just look at your other eye here. Perfect. I'll take the other eye. 
and I'm looking for strabismus, okay? So um, that's when your eye has um, involuntary movements there, okay? So now we're gonna perform an acuity test. I'm gonna have you look at that snoring chart. It's about okay. 20 feet away, okay? okay? So go ahead and cover one of your eyes. And can you read that bottom line for me? Um, D E F P O T E C, I think. Perfect. Now go ahead and. I wear contacts, so. That's okay. Um, D E. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, P O T E C, I think. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Um, now I'm going to test your peripheral vision, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you look at my nose, mm -hmm. and when you see either of my hands on either side of your face, mm -hmm. go ahead and say okay. Okay, okay so I'm going to get a little close. Okay, I see him. Okay. I see him. Okay. I see them. Okay, one more time. And I see your hands again. Perfect. All right. So eyes look good. Okay, so now I'm going to have... Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to your ears, okay? So first I'm gonna inspect your ears. Okay, so I'm looking for any drainage, okay? Any inflammation, yeah, looks good. Any lumps, bumps, okay. All right, they look good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and inspect. I'm gonna change this out real quick. Take a look in your ears. So I'm gonna pull back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull up and back. Okay. 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 So this is the one that's kind of hurting. This me. is the one that's been bothering you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna be as gentle as I can with this. Okay. So I'm gonna pull. So I do see a little bit of redness and inflammation, and we can talk about that after the exam. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna perform what's called the whisper test. So if I can have you plug one ear. Baseball. Baseball? Yes. All right, now I'll have you plug the other ear and tell me what word I say. Balloon. Balloon? Yes, perfect. All righty, so um, now we're gonna do a uh, conduction test okay. and we're going to use this instrument called a tuning fork okay so I'm going to hit this tuning fork and what I'm going to do I'm going to place it on the top of your head okay. and I want you to tell me um, whether you hear it in your right ear your left ear or both ears okay, okay? Mm, both ears equally yeah good that's what we want okay Okay, so that was the Weber test, and now we're, we're gonna perform the Rodin test, okay? So it's gonna be very similar. I'm gonna hit this tuning fork, I'm gonna place it on a bone right behind your ear, okay? And when I place it there, I want you to tell me when you no longer hear um, any sound, okay? And then I'm gonna move it up in front of your ear, and we'll do the same thing. You're gonna tell me when you stop hearing the sound. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do that on both sides. Okay. Perfect. All right. And that was testing for um, sensorineural and conductive hearing loss. Okay. Okay. So air conduction and bone conduction. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to um, your nose. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect. I'm looking for any deviation, septal deviation, okay. um, anything outside the norm. I'm going to go ahead and feel okay. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect inside your nose. Okay. So I'm going to have you tilt your head back here and just looking for any septal deviation. Okay. Everything looks fine. Alrighty. Okay. 
So now I'm gonna um, go ahead and um, check your mouth. Okay. And then um, look at your teeth, your tongue. All right, so um, go ahead and have you um, open your mouth for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick my finger in there. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Can you stick your tongue out and say, ah? Okay, looks good. All right. All right. I'm going to have you go ahead. Okay. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and have you hold your breath for me when I say, okay. Perfect. All righty. So everything looks good. Um, thank you for letting me perform your head and neck. Everything looks fine. Um, just a little bit of redness and tenderness.